All right, so now let's take a look at the specifications of our BTEC battery range. Now, first thing here is key. Now, all Enerdrive's lithium batteries, so therefore including these BTEC range that we're talking about, are made from lithium phosphate, a LiPo4 lithium chemistry. There's a lot of different lithium chemistries out there, um, and rather than me going through all the chemistries and all the different types and their pros and cons, recommend you doing some of your own research, for example, um, on the internet. Now, just be select for where you choose it. Things like the Battery University um, is a very good website that I quite often refer to. So LiPo4, why do we use it in our inner drive application? And why is it so recommended in the marine, in the RV industry? It's the safest form of lithium chemistry. So okay, you don't get the complete bang for the buck as you would, pardon the pun, um, as you would in say remote control car batteries where they're used, or even in mobile phones nowadays. However, where the pun comes in there from is the other lithium chem chemistries there can be susceptible um, to overcharging or overcapacities and all that. And that's where you hear of those horror stories of lithium batteries catching on fire. So again, the reason why we use LiPo4, why we recommend it, why it's the only chemistry we use in our entire battery range is, it's the safest. So again, do your own research on that one. Educate yourself if you start hearing of another battery chemistry uh, that has maybe caught on fire, for example, or that they're advertising real high discharge currents and all that. Take a look at it, educate yourself on that. So our lineup of BTEC batteries include our 12 volt 100 amp slim. We have our 12 volt 125 amp G2. We have our 12 volt 200 amp hour G2. We've also just released our new 12 volt 300 amp hour G2. We then go through to our 24 volt 100 amp hour, which is a G1 battery currently, soon to be released uh, next year, early 2022, will be our 24 volt 150 amp hour G2 battery. And lastly, for trolling motor applications for the marine side of things, we've got a 36 volt 100 amp hour, which is a generation one. So now that I've run through that range of batteries, what makes a G2 battery compared to a G1? Some key benefits here. First thing that we can see here is they come with a strap and a battery tray, which we'll have a look at the installation process later on. But what other battery manufacturer supplies you with a mounting solution when you buy a lithium battery? Um, to be honest, very, very few that I'm aware of. So it comes with a mounting tray and a strap. That's with all our generation two batteries. They also come with a flat battery reset button on the top here. So a great application there, which we'll talk about uh, later on, is when the battery does go flat, for example, and the BMS shuts off, is rather than having to use a jump start pack or anything like that, you can just press the flat battery reset button here and it will allow you to just start charging the battery again. So that's the two key benefits there as well. The other one with our G2 batteries is they do actually have serviceable lids. Now, when I say serviceable, that is for an Enerdrive approved technician to service the battery. So therefore, if we do need to have the battery back here, we can open the lid up and investigate, take a look at the cells, take a look at the BMS, rather than scrapping the entire battery or cutting the case open that is done with a lot of other type batteries and therefore um, sort of void your warranty anyway. So they are serviceable, however, just be mindful that is serviceable by a, and a drive technician. So, and you can see that with the screw casings there. So that's a few of the key benefits there of a G2. Um, now we'll just touch on that as well. Our E-Lite batteries actually also come with a tray and strap as well. Um, they also have inbuilt cell balancing on there. So that, what that means is, for example, on one of our 12 volt batteries there, there's actually four 3.2 volt cells run in a series configuration. Therefore, that's how we get our 12.8 volts. So what that cell balancing does is actually balance each group of those cells to make sure they're around about the same voltage, um, therefore getting your long lifespan out of them. Now, key thing here, why are they called BTEX? I should have mentioned this first, but why are they called BTEX? That's because they have the Bluetooth technology built in. What that allows is monitoring of key information like your voltage, uh, your current coming in or out of your battery, your state of charge, your temperatures, how many cycles you've used, for example, and all that. But we'll take a look at that one in a, uh, in a next section of the, uh, the video in the operation area. Now, with all lithium batteries, and you'll hear this spoken about a lot, 
they have the BMS inside. What does the BMS protect against, for example? You don't have it in a lead acid battery, for example. So that's why, yes, there are electronics in the lithium batteries nowadays. Again, just making sure that the cells, the lithium cells are charged or discharged correctly and also the ambient temperatures. So a BMS will protect against high or over voltage, low or under voltage, for example, when the battery is being discharged. We'll also look at short circuit current. So if there is real high or if you do short the battery out, the BMS will trip. They also have their max discharge current rating as well, which is how long you can pull, for example, 150 amps off a battery. They'll also have the max charging current there as well. And then as along with that, they also have high temperature and also low temperature shutoffs as well. So that's what a BMS monitors. A lot of the batteries out on the market, um, you see the horror stories of photos inside and all that. The BMS and the cells is what makes a quality lithium battery. So again, we've put a lot of research into uh, our BTEC range and work extremely closely with the factory to make sure they meet our specifications. So that's what a BMS does. Now I touched on there in relation to the current rating or the max discharge rating. So each of our BTEC batteries does have a current rating of how much you can discharge. In normal situations, if you're just running a fridge and some camp lights, for example, and some phone chargers, never an issue. Where it comes to is if you're using high current requirement equipment, such as inverters is the biggest one nowadays. So I'll just run through what those ratings are for each battery that we do have in our range. So with our 100 amp E-Lite, our 100 amp Slim, and 125 G2 BTEC, this one here, the BMS is, has a max discharge current of 100 amps. The 200 amp G2 and the original 300 amp uh, BTEC, 12 volt, has a 200 amp BMS max discharge rating. Our new 300 amp hour G2 battery has a 250 amp max discharge. Our 24 volt 100, has a 100 amps max discharge. Our 24 150 amp G2, which is coming early in 2022, has 150 amps max discharge. And lastly, our 36 volt 100 has a 100 amp max discharge. So as a guide there, you can get a feeling that pretty much by what the rating of the battery is, is what the BMS max discharge is rated at. So always keep that in mind when you're looking at sizing the inverter. And you may remember in the inverter video, if not, jump um, back onto our YouTube channel and take a look at the uh, our inverter video. And we run again through what size inverter can be run off each one of our BTEC batteries, for example, there. Now, with the serviceable lids that I spoke about before, it does actually mean that these batteries uh, don't have an IP rating. So for example, they can't be used in an open deck on a boat, for example, or in the tray of an open four-wheel drive ute. So you do need to keep them installed in a dry environment, which we'll touch base on in the installation section a little bit later on there. Now, the BTECs do have temperature ratings as well. They do handle temperature much better than AGMs in my personal experience. However, like I just spoke about, they do have over and low temperature um, set points on the BMS. A key thing to remember and a great selling point of the BTEC batteries as well is if you're ever in doubt as to what the specifications are, they're all on the label on the batteries. We've got nothing to hide, so we actually outline everything here. And a key point also is all this information I'm running through today is also in our installation manual for the BTEC batteries that comes with the batteries or also available online. So again, with the temperature ratings there, our standpoint at Enerdrive is lithiums should not be installed in an underbonnet application. So just to state that again, all our Enerdrive BTEC batteries are not for underbonnet applications there. Uh, so that covers on those ones. Again, a key specification, again, five year warranty. You hear me say this in every video and because we're so proud of it and we stand by our products is the Enerdrive BTEC range of batteries, five year simple warranty. And I say simple because if you look at the fine print of a lot of the other uh, lithium battery warranties out there, they may sound great, they may have a longer period than five years, but if you look at the fine print, um, it's very hard to actually meet the installation criteria, the commissioning criteria and all that. So five year warranty, um, lifetime phone support as well. So that covers off the specifications of our BTEC batteries.